Hey there, how you doing? I want to start by just thanking you for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and sharing this with your friends. I genuinely believe that today's video is going to make a dramatic impact upon your life because I'm going to be talking about personality sculpting or shifting, shaping, creating the character that you want to play. And all that's coming up right now. Fuck you. Let me explain what that means. The you that we believe, the you that you believe that you are, what is that? I would say, who are you? And the typical response is, they immediately give you what you do. You know, like I'm a doctor. I'm doctor so-and-so, that's who I am. And they go on to talk, give you a whole list of things that they own, of possessions, of family, and, and so on and so forth. And in essence, they're describing themselves or what they believe they are to you because that's exactly what a you is. A you, you is just a belief. If the most, if the, the greatest scientist that the world had to offer with the most incredible technology known to man, if they were to take these microscopes and put them on the body, they would not find a you. You is just a memory, and that memory's become a belief. That story or memory has become what you believe you are. I am this. This is my story. I started here. These are my memories. This is who I am. And what I'm explaining to you is that no, that the you is literally just a belief. Robert Bolton said, belief is not something you possess that the mind possesses, but belief is something that possesses the mind. Our minds become possessed with identity. Our minds become obsessed with the you, the I, what I think I am. The stories that we create become so real in our mind, and yet we know that they're not real or true or absolute, but instead they may remain very fluid. I've used this example so many times. Two people go into the same movie. They come out with a completely different perception of the movie. One loves it. One hates it. One thinks it's a great acting. One thinks it's horrible acting. Which one of their statements is true? And the answer is neither one because it's subjective. It's a subjective thing that's taking place. So what we want to begin to really grasp right now is that you aren't real. But the you that you believe... If it's just a belief, it's under the persuasion, the influence, or the power, the control of belief. If you just responds, the you just responds to belief, then it's fully under the control of belief. Where there's no belief, there is really no you. How you step away from being offended, the you when there is no longer a you, in other words, a strong identity or belief in myself, in what I am as an idea, then you step away from ever being able to be offended or hurt or devalued because none of that is you. Now I can take an actual authentic assessment of my performance, of my existence without being upset or sensitive about it because that's not who I am. This opens up an entire world of artistry to us. If the you is under the power of belief and under the power of thought, then it's like, I'll give you an example. The you becomes your canvas. And the belief and the thoughts, the persuasions, the feelings, they become the paint for that canvas. This is a specific kind of life artistry, and I believe that it has such extreme value for our day and age. Because since like the, night, the early 1990s, depression is up 400%. It's now reported that more than 50% of Americans suffer with depression. Depression is literally 
the true self or the the mind the awareness saying i don't want to play this character anymore i'm tired of this character the problem is people become suicidal because they believe they genuinely believe that the character they've been playing the you is what they are and that belief has turned into an identity when you step away from those ideas ideas and away from those beliefs and instead of seeing the memory as uh, a foundation for who you are begin to see your memory as simple markers or simple things for you to enjoy or tap into for an experience or to create in this moment so you are not what you think you are. You are not who you think you are. You is just a canvas. And the paints that you're going to use on that canvas are your beliefs, persuasions, thoughts, and feelings, amongst others. But those are the most important ones. So there are two ways of, again, practicing this form of life artistry that I like to call personality sculpting. And that is this. You first start with a crystal, clear picture of what or who you want to create. I don't want to play this character anymore. I want to create a new character. That new character can play the same roles. In other words, I shape, I tra transfer and shape and, and, uh, and metamorphosize over and over and over many, sometimes many times in a year playing different characters. But those characters have continued for the last 15 years to play the role of father. I haven't stopped being a father because I changed the character. I changed the character, but the character was capable of playing the same roles. See, we identify because we go, I am this character and I am also the role. And that's when we get so confused. That's when depression, anxiety, fear, stress, the whole like, like it, life stops becoming being fun and it starts really becoming miserable in that headspace. So the two ways that we're going to be that we're, we're creating a crystal clear picture is in style. We're going to start with style, um, mood, which is basic personality type, and characteristics. I want to get a crystal clear picture of the style that my character is going to have, of the mood or the basic personality trait that character is going to have. Is my chair character going to be high driven, more chill, um, relaxed? Which version of that is it going to look like? And then the third thing is the characteristics. Loving, kind, generous, stingy. Um, what kind of characteristics do you want to have? Confidence. You can play whatever character you want. And then the second step to creating that clear picture and being well on your way to this life artistry term called I call personality sculpting is this to visualize and then rehearse or practice once you get that once you've painted that clear picture in your mind now I can begin to believe it consciously and so I'm believing this consciously and now I'm visualizing that character in my mind as me going through this is where the practice or the, the rehearsing goes, going through it, my day, going through and talking to the people, doing the meetings and the events that I have on my schedule, teaching the classes, but with this character and not that one, not the old one. And so the old one gets forgotten. This is the reason why the Bible, in the Bible it says, forget the former things or consider the things of old, for behold I, the Lord, do a new thing. And what you're doing right now is you're beginning to tap into this Christ consciousness that in Christ there is a new creation. Personality sculpting is a blast. It's fun. The old hat, the only problem, this is a little warning, the end one, the only problem is that people are going to look at you and they're going to say, "Who? where, where did this come from? Like, why the, why the change? And you just get to tell them. My body and my mind are my canvas. I'm playing on it. I'm creating. I'm an artist. I love, 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 love creating in this way. This is one of my most favorite artistic expressions as a life artist. And I strongly want to encourage you today to begin with this one thing of creating that clear picture in your mind. If you if you have questions about this, drop them in the comments. Shoot me an email. I'll be happy to talk to you about it. We also have courses coming up this year that are going to be powerful. They're going to be on personality sculpting. You can check those out. I'll drop the links below. I love you. You're fucking awesome. You can be what 
whatever you want to be. And I would say that to the two-year-old in the same way that I'm saying it to you right now. It doesn't matter whether you're 40, 50, 70, 150. You can become whatever you want to be. And the, it begins in your mind. Have a beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you fucking play. Mm-hmm.